Welcome to the IGN Global Battle. It is IGN versus the world. Joining me today, yet again, is Alex Mendez. Golden Boy, how's it going? It's going well. It's going well. Uh, today's been an interesting day. It certainly has. In the world of the internet. But we're here. We're going to get these games going a little bit. Um, and uh, I'm, I'm excited because it's going to be all of you guys who got your copy of Battlefield 1 today mm -hmm. going up against our incredible IGN staffers who are going to look, uh, look to, you know, kick your butt on the internet. Definitely. Not you tough can, at all. You can also join our team. Uh, 30589 is the server number. And right. you can uh, do a search for that and you should be able to join up or queue up to either be on our team or fight against us. Uh, joining us yet again today is also James and Max Scoville. Guys, how's it going over there? Uh, you know, getting killed, <laughs> as usual. So it's going as expected so far. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we are playing Conquest today, so it is going to be much, much more chaotic. Uh, the idea is to just stick with your squad, get some kills, and revive everybody is going to be my game plan. Not, not a bad plan. Not a bad plan. That's, that's the name of the game. Push the objective. Uh, you know, uh, PTO, very common term in Battlefield. You'll hear people say that all the time. Uh, so, I mean, they're, they're in the game, so we might as well just jump right into the action because we have, uh, you know, we have some good stuff going on here. And then look at that. That's yeah, just, that look, is, that's that just is amazing. Cool. I, mean, you, I, I mean, you could basically just do this whole stream like that. Yeah. You know, <laughs> just our face. <laughs> anyway, uh, hey, well, here we go into the action, and we're going to be following the view of one James Duggan as That's he's right. looking to capture B here. Duggan, Duggan, back in the action. Hunk McChunk on Xbox Live. Uh, looks like he's got a few people to heal. Will he heal them or will he betray us? He will not. <laughs> they are back up with the hot revive. Ah, got hit Gets with that bayonet though. Second, though. Think about conquest. It's so hectic. You never know where the action is going to come from. Of course, you see a lot of great battlefield players. Not to say uh, Duggan and Scoville aren't great battlefield players. Um, but you know, Duggan more so than Scoville. I'm kidding. But. Uh, the, the, the truth is, though, it's it's one of those game types where you never know, right, what's going to pop up around that corner, well, who's going to attack you from behind, like, what what the what the landscape of the battle is. You have to have a good read on it, and it's sometimes it's a little too difficult. Yeah. All right, so looking here, we have, uh, let's see, who we're checking out right now. Of course, still sticking with James Duggan. He yeah. is... Squad wiped. Yeah, nice job. Got good the start. squad wipe. That's a good, good, uh, you know, kickoff here for them. They are going to have a decent, well, they had a decent lead, but now it's going to be a tied game, and they're going to fight over this D objective here in Kaiser's Bridge. Let's see how this fares out for them, because they are going to have full possession of it. One player will be in there, so they have to watch out, see if anyone spawns in on that one guy who managed to creep into D. Pretty even game. Looks like uh, the score's uh, almost dead even right now, yeah. just getting started. Ooh, I really like this map. This was one of my favorite maps. We covered off on this when we fought Australia and when we fought against IGN UK. But uh, man, this game is absolutely gorgeous. We are playing on Xbox One, of course, and you can join us live. Check out IGN.com slash live to join in on all the action. And of course, YouTube and Twitch. That's right, folks. So James does get picked off, unfortunate for him. But like I said before, right, you just, you never know what you're gonna find. And, and on the, uh, the Argani Forest, uh, this map in particular with a lot of dense, you see all those trees there, right? That's just prime, prime opportunity for anyone to try and sneak around, use the terrain to your advantage. You really would just always wanna be mindful of that kind of stuff. Uh, you know, Battlefield is not only a game about you know, guns, but it's how you work with your teammates and how you utilize the environment to your advantage. Look here, a smoke grenade actually, uh, that smoke screen is going to block off a decent amount of visibility here uh, on the other side, but this is a risky play. Duggan pushes right forward and he's going to pay dearly for that. That bar was waiting for him. Yep. Cro prone down and with the, with, the, uh, with the stabilizer out was able to do a lot of work there. All right, live chat is back up, so if you want to ask us questions, head on over to any of the platforms, actually. You can ask us questions on them, but you can watch and chat live at IGN.com slash live, where we will take your questions and answer them right on the air. That's right, folks. So we saw this, actually, on the, I believe we saw uh, Argani Forest on Rush, and I want to say Domination. Um, and this map in particular has these really cool, like, just, 
uh, I guess you, you want to call them like basements, right? Like cellars. They, they have these really cool little spots there uh, that provide for some great cover. Bunkers, if you will. I don't know why I said cellars. There's no <laughs> wine here. Um, or maybe there is. Who knows? Apparently uh, but, you can revive people that are on fire. Yeah, that's, that's good to know. Yeah, no, I mean, that's I do that on a reg, on, the, on a regular basis, man. You just sometimes got to gotta roll up on some fools and just, you know, just heal them while they're burning to a crisp. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Again, if you want to play with or against us, that server is 30589. We are playing on Xbox One right now. So hop in, join on in the action, join into the action with us. Yeah. Uh, still watching James Duggan, not finding anybody, yeah. We're running through the woods. Running through the woods. It's, uh, actually, I, again, I this map, I, I like it for so many reasons because you also see the difference in, in, in approach here, right? As they charge through this particular part of the map, they lose the, the lush landscape. You know, you lose the, the, the trees, the leaves, all, all the things that would allow you to have just a little bit of cover because all that scorched earth is just surrounding them. And I think it's just a really cool uh, dynamic here. Nice job oh, as well from Doug and Gaming for Dummies. Probably got to read your own book, man. <laughs> Hey, that was a good Ouch. One. I give myself credit there. Ouch. So it looks like he's regrouping, <laughs> dropping some help for his teammates, and they're just going to set up shop and fend off this point as they capture it and go for the win. Still a very, very close game, 360 to 325. Yeah. Still, anybody's anybody can take this. I think if they're able to capture D here in a little bit, they, uh, they'll they start to accrue a decent amount of points. I mean, they have possession of E, C, and, and A, or excuse me, and B. Um, so they, they are losing E, which they did just lose that one. So you got to be very mindful of that one. B also flipped. So now that battle is going to continue. Seems like Doug and squad is doing a lot of work here. Um, mm -hmm. You know, they're moving together. They're constantly going after their objectives, but they're just not really court or the rest of the team. Of course, 64 players uh, on this server for, you know, for on, on both sides. I mean, it's pretty tough to coordinate. Definitely. They're moving over to E right now, and we are going to toss it over to Max Scoville's team chat to see what their strategy is going over there. All right, they are pushing in to see the Hellfire Junction Bridge. This is a point of contention, as the we tough, can see. Somebody, uh, a Deer X getting another kill there. Yeah, seems yeah. to have uh, Max's number. But yeah, that, that is a really tough uh, flag to capture there for multiple reasons. You have an elevated platform with a narrow walkway, and that narrow walkway really looks like it'll make you pay. Um, <laughs> So honestly, I think it was just a, that, that's a, just a very tough, uh, tough move for them to make. But it seems like go over to James' perspective, they are gonna be able to make their way over to C. They do have control of it, and they're just gonna keep on fighting. So not bad thus far. 453 to 394, by the way, and now looking to hop into this machine gun and do some work. Using that prone position to really make his body as small of a target as he possibly can, and uh, managing to survive long enough to capture the point, and now he has a great advantage taking that turret ready for anybody who comes in to try and recap it. Ooh, they gotta be very careful here. He's gonna charge in like a get crazy it, person. It, does it. he get him, does he get him? Oh, oh just short, just <laughs> short. Oh, but that is unfortunate there. The M19 will make quick work of him and it seems like C is gonna start to be attacked here by the enemy team. Uh, no one really on it just yet, but Duggan is looking for an E spawn here to uh, potentially get right back, right behind enemy lines, knowing that someone's going to be in that area. It might be one or two people max. Um, I mean, if it's a whole squad, it'll be very tough to fight that one out. But uh, yeah, actually, it is going to be at least three people here, so this is going to be a tough one. Of course, I think uh, you know if anyone could do it, James certainly proved himself to be quite proficient. Finds one in front. Oh, he's able to find four D three D three. 
Looking for another person here as well. Once again, guys, you can join us. Uh, what is it, 35? We've got it right here. Actually, Cube30 was asking, how do we play with you guys? It's Battle Battlefield Server 305-8989. That is how you can play with us. There you go, folks. So you can join up and go up against guys guys like James Duggan and Max Scoville. Um, but looking at this one, of course, that was a very tough one for James to overcome on his own without his squad. Uh, still not pushing a an E like that. Still not a runaway game. It's 513 to 460. Uh, I'm impressed with how close it is. You, like, when we were playing the other days, it was usually pretty one-sided. There were a few close ones, but uh, I like it. I like a close game oh, a course. lot more than a runaway game. Of you course. want that drama. Of course. You want that excitement, and, uh, you know, that that's definitely what a close game in Battlefield brings you. Because, remember, there's so many other layers, right? You have to rely on all the other squads to be able to coordinate together and make the pushes because you're focusing on one objective, right? Like, they're focusing focusing on E. That is their that is their goal. That is what they want to accomplish. And they very very may well be able to get this, which they do. So they are gonna flip E and they will get possession of this. But now you know they need to be worried about B and D positions and maybe even uh, you know, see if they want to go in for that push. So they're losing B now. Now it's time to begin that tug of war again, get back over to C and try and do some work. They're doing an excellent job of holding two points, but they're fighting over that third point. They really need to hold it. We're going to go over to James Duggan's chat to listen in on their strategy to win. Yeah, yeah, look at it when you do the call. Uh, you know, okay? Uh, yeah, it's going all right. Uh, he's, still, he's still working out on the system base. Yeah, man. He's worked out a lot of nights. LA 1030. Oh, oh. I'm down. I'm down, boys. Please help. Get out of my way. All right, so uh, it looks like they're pushing in from sea, so we're going to have to make They're coming in on. from the west. Okay. I am spawning on you, Justin. All right, let's hunker down and get a little, uh, little healing. Yeah. yeah. Grenades out into this trench over here. Yeah, these trenches are real dangerous. Alright, so they're gonna get him! Let me know when you get it. Dave, wait! Let me, yeah, let me lick yeah, your yeah, wounds. Like oh my god, everybody's dead! Alright, I'm coming. Back out if you get revived. You're not dying there again. Uh, we have to fall back to the objective. We're getting, they're taking D as we're dying in this trench like a bunch of, oh, a bunch of dumbbells. Something's on D. Yeah, this wiped us. Alright, let's move back to E. I don't think we can push up anymore. There. There's a guy in the bunker. Corncob1013, man, that guy. My arch nemesis, as you all know. I don't have to retell that right. story. It's I'm a tragic chapter in my life. Moving on E right now. I'm gonna spawn on D. Uh, let's clear the guy out of the bunker there. Head downstairs. All right. Fun fact about James Duggan: some of his favorite things are sports, weightlifting, and a strict diet regimen, and healing circles. And healing circles, definitely. Uh, having a little bit of fun in Battlefield One today. Again, you can join us. Uh, the server number is three zero five eight nine. If you want to join us. And we actually have a question from YouTube from Crew NL. He says, what's with those toothpicks on the end of their guns? Well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, those, toothpicks. I don't those think those are Those are some toothpicks. pretty violent toothpicks, man. Uh, those are bayonets and they, I mean, you, they use them to this day, right? You, you still see guns that have like knives at the bottom of them or whatever, but a bayonet uh, most prominently used in, in you know, wars of old, right? Think like Revolutionary War where they used to have their muskets and they would have the bayonets yeah. there. It was a great uh, melee option when well, you, you get caught reloading. Combat. Yeah, yeah, it's wait, what? What did you say? Not, if you get caught reloading yeah. your musket, oh, okay. it's good to have a bayonet there. I don't know why, yeah. I just thought you were doing something completely, oh god, anyway. Um, but essentially a bayonet is it, just a great uh, close quarters combat uh, weapon to have. And you also can do the bayonet charge in this game as well, which Very is fun. another really fun thing to do. Now, keep in mind, when you do charge in for the bayonet charge and you don't hit anyone with it, when once you run into them, it's an insta-kill. Uh, you'll actually slow down. You won't be able to sprint. So you, there you go, actually, uh, James. Duggan. Duggan, he, he's just such a, such a good guy, right? But he can't sprint anymore because he was running around trying to bayonet, you know, like the invisible man. It wasn't working out for him. 
What's the cooldown like on that charge, actually? So how long does it take you to be ready? Uh, it, until you can get your sprint back up. I mean, I would say, yeah, like there, there's a meter as far as like how long you can use the charge, right? Which you'll see. Uh, so, geez, there's so many people around James here, <laughs> dead bodies. But there is a meter that you can uh, use, but it takes, you know, a couple seconds here. And here goes a bayonet He's charge trying. running He in. got oh! one. Nice. Nice. Good job. So he, he should be able smoke. to continue uh, sprinting after he successfully charges someone. But if he doesn't, it takes about like five, maybe ten seconds. I, I don't know Kill. the exact number. Killed by luck runs out, an appropriately named person to be taking him out in that moment. Uh, definitely. He's going to come back in here in just a second as a medic. We also saw him use uh, effectively the area of effect heal in that bunker when he yes. was down there with his team. He popped it down. He was at about 10 health and he got back up to 50. So be sure you're using all the tools in your repertoire in Battlefield 1. Yeah, when you're when you're a medic, right, your, your whole objective is to keep your teammates alive. It gives you a lot of points when you do so, um, but also you can self-heal, which is a fantastic thing. So... You know, you always want to make sure you're you're doing that, but, <clears throat> excuse me, I almost lost my voice there. Speaking of uh, medics, as a matter of fact, let's jump over to Max's POV now, as he's going to be charging the E-Bunker Abbey Ruin. Not to be confused with one Abbey Road. Hey, -o. <laughs> Popping on that gas mask, Grabbing just making sure that he is covered from any, that was bad. any bad attacks, like gas. Oh, that beat bonked that one off his teammate's head. <laughs> That's unfortunate. So when you have the gas mask on mm -hmm. here, right, you actually cannot aim down your sight, so you can't L trigger to get a more Good accurate game. shot. Um, so yes, theoretically, you could run around the entire map with your gas mask on and never get hit with maze. But oh Ooh. man, and there you go, the combat knife right to the throat. That was unfortunate. Very smart using that prone to go behind that cover, making his body as small of a target as he possibly can. Until he but, ran up and stabbed him. Yeah, he got bayonet charged, yeah. but uh, he did what he could in that situation. Very true. Uh, so it's a thousand points to win here, and it's a pretty close it is. game. It's close again. It's still within about oh, 20 points. Oh man, again? Really? Namacracker. Uh, Namacracker. Yeah. <laughs> That's like, what a name. <laughs> Oh, uh, God, I love yeah. Xbox Live. You <laughs> see some incredible names. But, yeah, you, you always, you know, it, it's it's really tough, right? I mean, Battlefield has always had a really interesting uh, history with uh, melee, right? From BF4 with counter melees to uh, just, you know, oh. general melee shenanigans that would happen in, like, Bad Company 2 or whatever that were always really fun to, to, to take advantage of. Um, BF3 also had a really uh, fun melee system if you knew how to use it. Um, but this one actually, there, there was a, out the gate, there was an emphasis on how to properly use melees because, uh, you know, like close quarters, hand to hand weaponry actually was still very prominent in this time period. Mm. Um, you know, when they introed the game for the first time, <clears throat> they were, uh, excuse me, they it showed the, the guy hitting him with the shovel, right? Mm. And the shovel was very prominent because every every soldier had to have one of these small shovels so they, they could dig the trenches, yeah. right? But what ended up occurring was as soon as that trench warfare started to begin, and he's just stabbing him. He's gone mad. He's, he, he's gone mad. <laughs> Help this man. Um, but basically, as soon as, it, you know, when every soldier had possession of the shovel, it was just like, all right, well, maybe we could do that, or we could just beat the crap out of each other within close range combat. And yeah. it proved to be very effective. Um, so much so that they started to emphasize more on like, you know, the spike clubs or hammers or, you know, whatever they could possibly get their hands on because this is the dawn of all out war, right? Like, it's not just a marketing campaign. It, it is real, like, this is how it, how it really unfolded as far as like the evolution of weaponry in battle or in, in war. Yep. Um, so it's just really cool stuff, man. And also you get to see a lot of, uh, sorry, you get to see a lot of experimental weaponry too in mm -hmm. this game, which is always fun. Yeah, uh, we're seeing the comeback mechanic actually. The enemy uh, train is actually going through right now to kind of even it up a little bit. We That's were, right. our team was pulling ahead quite a bit, but these are really cool. What are these called again? Uh, behemoths, uh, behemoths, you know, all of yeah. them have different names, right? Um, but they're, they're commonly known as behemoths. Uh, in this particular instance, this is the train behemoth. Uh, you'll also see a very similar kind of thing. This is the armored train, right? Mm -hmm. Really uh, very effective, um, you know, I guess piece of the of the map. But major thing about this though is that you, you'll see different kinds of behemoths on each map, you mm -hmm. know? 
So you'll see like an airship or a, a train or whatever. And I'm really curious on how James and his crew are actually gonna deal with this behemoth if it does. Uh, oh, wait a minute, I didn't notice this, but they're actually on the other team, James. So they're not on the same squad. So there we go, the tension's even more. I didn't, oh boy. I didn't notice. Oh boy, so it is Max versus James. And James is dead, so good job, Max. That's right. I should have. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't until the behemoth popped up that I was just like, oh, wait a minute. It's not red. It yeah. should be red. Uh, so, yeah, so now the behemoth is coming in favor of uh, James's team. But keep in mind, though, uh, you know, the behemoth is only as good as what you do with it, right? Mm -hmm. uh, I re remember prominently in the alpha, everyone was saying, like, you know, um, like, as soon as the airship behemoth popped up, uh, no one really went to take advantage of it. But if you had a coordinated squad, you could really do some damage. I think we started to see that more so in Sinai Desert when that um, alpha popped up or when that beta popped up because you started to see people really take advantage of it and it was a little bit more straightforward, which was like, all right, take this train, drive it in, and just shred everything in your path. Definitely. It is now a 100-point game and Duggan is actually on the losing team. So props to Max. Uh, I would like to see that train in action if we were able to really quick. Well, Max is actually uh, throwing everything at the train. Oh, nice. nice though. Nice job from James Duggan. He's going to move in there with that toothpick charge. So uh, good work there. I still can't believe that he that they thought it was toothpick. It's amazing. <laughs> yeah. Let's take a listen, actually, over at uh, James Duggan's team chat and what's going on over there. So I'm thinking about the conditions of our surrender, guys because we are inevitably not going to win this match. And I think we should I think we should push for double rations because I really need to keep my protein level up. I'm thinking about it. Uh, I'm going to flank around to A, see if we can maybe... Oh, there's so many people. My hands are so cold in this freezing room. I'm going to try the bayonet charge. That's been working out for me. Not in that instance, though. She wore driving gloves. Yeah, I need some driving gloves. It's so cold in this forest, you wouldn't think it would be, but it is. Yes. Well done, Max. All right, so that is it. Defeat for Mr. James Duggan. Interesting surrender terms, though. Double rations. Yeah, no, you just got gotta, gotta to keep one of the keeper's protein count up, man. I don't, I don't blame him. Yeah. I would do the same thing. I'm fat. Look at me. Look at this. You got to you gotta work with what you have, yeah. you know? So if I, if I can get double rations, I'd go for it. You know? Definitely. You know uh, if you guys want, <laughs> if you guys want to play with us, you can join on server three zero five eight nine. I don't know how to trans transition <laughs> no, from I, carbs to double as, rations. Make it as awkward as possible, <laughs> so that then you have to figure out a way to get out of it. Yeah, it's great. Also, uh, you guys time. can chat with us at ign.com/live, where we are uh, taking your questions. We actually have one from Mr. Rhythmic Dancer One over on YouTube. Wow. Uh, what is your favorite map so far? Uh, Rhythmic Dancer One. Uh, your, your name is my favorite. Um, favorite map? Uh, for me, it has to be San Quentin Scar. Uh, mm -hmm. First map that you had a chance to play um, in Battlefield 1, and it, it just provides everything. Uh, great, um, great infantry combat, great vehicle combat, great air combat. It, it's just a really well-balanced map, in my opinion. It's, it's, it's one of my favorites, Leaps and Bounds. Mm -hmm. Definitely. I mean, the one we were just looking at, I believe that's Argon Forest. Yeah. Yeah, uh, that is my favorite one. It reminds me of Metal Gear Solid 3 and just like all out war in a setting like that is just really cool to me. I love yeah. that it's, uh, you're almost camouflaged as you're attacking the enemy, enemy team or yeah. enemy combatants and uh, the train's cool. Whoever thought that a train would make it a, a really fun gameplay mechanic. Well, you know, I mean, uh, DICE ha has always like experimented with, um, different game mechanics for conquest that would really add something uh and and you know like i never forget like in you know uh, siege of shanghai right and battlefield 4 when the when you know the levolutions would happen and oh, stuff yeah. like that and those are those are really cool um and they did uh, have significant impact on the game but this time around though it was you know i i really just enjoy how the behemoths, they're strong, but they're only as strong as you as a team can take advantage of them. Definitely. So I, I quite enjoy that. And by the way, we got some air combat here, which we yeah. haven't had a chance to see yet. So let's jump right into the game and get ready for this bad boy. Because James is on a plane, he, and he's shooting his pilot test. This, is, this is the first time we've actually gotten to see the war planes in action. Uh, I have been pushing for a long time to get plane, plane gameplay up in Battlefield 1, where we just take off in the plane but nobody will do it. 
What it's a stra it? strange, strange, uh, plain, strange, yeah. What do you mean? Yeah, it's a play on words. P L A I N, P L A N E. I'll stop. Plain, plain. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I am one, I'm too tired and I'm too. <laughs> too and I just, I do not get these things that you say. But then again, we're all saying our dad jokes today, so it's completely fine. This is awesome, by the way. Yeah. Uh, James is doing a, one, he's coordinating oh. very well here with his teammates. But furthermore, I, I think what's also really fun about this is you're really starting to see like just how incredible uh, plain combat can be because the thing about this is unlike in previous battlefields where you had to worry about, you know, like missiles and heat seekers and all that stuff, this is just straight up dogfighting and I love it. Yeah, definitely. Uh, it's one of uh, the more challenging aspects of Battlefield 1, being able to fly a plane and fight enemy combatants. You actually use a controller on PC, you said last year. Yeah, I do. I, I just enjoy flying with a controller. I'll play typically with a PC. Uh, keyboard and mouse. Key, keyboard and mouse on yeah. PC or on my Xbox. But I would also, whenever I'd fly, like I just realized like, I'm, I'm better with this. you know. And I know a lot of people who do it as well. I even have friends who use flight sticks. Um, oh wow! When they, like, yeah, yeah, they just get the flight stick going. It's 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 awesome. But you know what though? I do want to hear how James and his squad are communicating as they are currently in a dogfight, and James is putting shots everywhere he possibly goes. Let's go ahead and take a listen in with these guys. Yep. Okay, cool. Both you got them. Kind of identifying. I want to get a. Oh, oh, he's gone. Well done. Who are the kings of the sky? <clears throat> yeah, we are. Uh, I wish I could see I other planes. There don't seem to be any to be had. We seem to have killed them all. Yeah, we've taken them all out. <laughs> now they'll be asking for double yeah, rations. Right. Did you just get hit? Uh, it's not been hit, no. Alright, well this is where I leave you. Yeah, that's fine. There's a horse waiting for me. My chauffeur has gotten the message. He's sent ahead. Oh no, no, no! I didn't even get to reunite with Chuckles. <laughs> I'm with you in the plane. Uh, he, took, he took my horse. Oh my god. What a class are you playing as? I was medic, but I'm gonna go to. Uh, <laughs> Alright, anybody who's on the ground, let's go ahead and hit E. How bad is this? I don't wanna be this. Oh, oh god. hit E? Oh my god. god. Right. Are you near it? Come on. Drake, are you still here? No. Come on. Uh, no, I'm in a plane. Okay, there's a tank headed toward E. Yeah, we're trying to take Friendly out that tank. Friendly tank, enemy tank. Plane behind us. Plane behind us? We'll shoot him with your gun. <laughs> oh, yeah. Pro tip. I had him. I'm getting slaughtered. Oh, All right, we may have to group up as a healing circle again. You know that? We're headed to... Got the, you, buddy. Like... Thanks, dude. This guy's over here, last I saw. Okay. I'm jumping yeah. over this wall because I have serious ups. What's up? Me. I'm up. Over that wall. Okay. Let me get on E. There's a tank right next to us, man. Where? Spot it. New location. Okay. There it is. Hey, Justin, you got somebody on your tail now. Yeah, Jake's uh, shooting. He's so close to dead. Keep going, man. Uh, oh, Max, are we on opposite teams yep, again, man? Sure are. All right, well, mistakes. round two. What is it? <laughs> I'm coming, buddy. I'm coming. Okay. Thank you. Oh, Where are these shots? Coming from? I can't see a thing. Maybe get out. <laughs> yeah, let's get out of that point. I did. <laughs> it just jumped me into the front, oh. the front seat. <laughs> All right. Uh, my squad on E. Let's hit D. My squad on E. Let's hit D. We got a friendly tank. East. Oh, that tank just roll behind you. Okay. We have an enemy tank though too, which I have nothing to deal with right now in my current loadout. But I'm just gonna flank around it and I'll wait for now. Uh, nice. Yeah, we're good. Piling on that point, guys. Let's get a cap. Oh, taking fire. Taking hits. Uh, taking hits from the west, from where we came from. Where we came from, guys. 
I'm gonna get upstairs. Get a nice lookout position. Oh, from the right side of the house. Support class. That tank is still there. Wow, we have an assault kit or no? Yeah, I don't have assault. Alright. Uh, we've yeah, stopped down. capping this point. Or rather, it's going very slowly. I can't find Thanks, the guy. bro. I got killed by an airplane. There's more people. They're really piling in on this point. Yeah, there's uh, a chance where I could get a ton of kills or I could get killed myself. Whatever the squad like. So squad wiped, but Duggan was on a tear there for a while. He did get taken out, yeah. but not before he uh, did a little bit of work on the enemy team. Yeah, not bad. That's actually a really good position to hold as well, right? That building right above D. Um, and now just looking to move in there and do as much damage as possible with the submachine gun. Uh, so again, right, like when you put on that gas mask, you can't aim down the sights, but with the SMG, typically with the MP18, most most importantly, you don't necessarily need to all the time. Uh, just didn't really work out for him there. But let's actually take a look at Max's POV because he's dealing with something similar here. All that gas is coming through. He's gonna have to put on that mask so he doesn't have to smell the uh, flatulence of the enemy team. We have two teams today. We have Max Goldville's team and we have James Duggan's team. And you can join us actually. It is 30589 if you wanna join us. So, and I, we just had a note. Someone said that they're on the same team. I'm looking, they are not on the same team. They are they are on different squads. Yeah, but if you want to join us, hit up that server. So you and can go you against can, them. You can uh, them. fight with or against That's right. James or Max. That's right. Who do you like more is the question. Yeah. That's that's what's most important here. And then that's the team that you join. So this is a tricky spot to be in. Yeah, this is a difficult area, right? I mean, there's a lot of open field. and Oh, oh my no, goodness. my goodness gracious. <laughs> and look at that, the attack Not much plane. You there. That was wonderfully played. Uh, again, you know, it, it's it's very difficult to be able to coordinate, uh, you know, those attack plane bombing runs. But when you're able to do so, it, it, is, it is vicious and quite delicious. Oh my goodness. Anyway, we yeah, have a- You said play, play, I can't even with you right now. You got it, you got it. Uh, we actually have a question from the community. Uh, can you use the gun, which is the size of a matchbox in multiplayer? And uh, you can, that gun is named the Calibri, and it's usable in multiplayer. How do you unlock that gun? Uh, actually, I think it's a battle pack, if I'm, if I'm correct. Yeah. Um, From, uh, I, it's rank 10, right? Yeah, yeah, something like, yeah, 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 yeah that's actually what it is. You, you'll rank it up over with war bonds, if, mm -hmm. I'm, if I'm correct. Um, I haven't even done it yet. I mean, then again, I've been traveling all over the place, so I haven't had a chance. But you know where you can see the Calibri? I know where. Where Where can they see it? YouTube.com slash IGN or <gasps> IGN.com. Uh, we actually have a clip. If you are watching on IGN, you can... Uh, search through our Battlefield 1 content. We have a ton of great stuff that you guys can check out, but uh, you have to check out this gun. It is uh, the size of like a quarter. It's like the uh, most proper looking yeah. death weapon I've ever yeah. seen in my life. He holds it with the pinkies up and when he reloads it, it's just, it's a, it's adorable. It, it, it is, is, it is absolutely adorable. And our own James Duggan actually got a kill with the thing. Uh, it does two damage per hit. <laughs> So it takes takes a little bit of a teamwork. Honestly, to I get think the, the most incredible weapon. thing is that you can actually aim down the sights with it. <laughs> for added precision. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm almost wondering like what kind of what kind of bullets you know is that is that fire? You know, like is it? And that was a good job there, Max. So you talk, just had to show. It's you're just like I'm here. <laughs> here, tank, help me. Uh, Battlefield does a great job of having these really cool Easter eggs. Like in Hardline, they have the third arm. Uh, so this is the Calibri, the tiny gun. It is a cool thing that you can unlock. I'm excited to see the other things that uh, they have hidden within Battlefield. Launch. Yeah, I mean, I mean, people were digging through uh, four pretty much for like, I don't want to say like maybe two years, just going through all the stuff that they could possibly find, uh, you know, Easter eggs and all that stuff. Um, you know, whenever I get a chance to talk to Dice about things, I always mention dinosaurs. They love that kind of stuff. Dinosaurs? Yeah. Do you think there's a dinosaur in Battlefield One? No. <laughs> I would. I hope so, but you know, like it took them forever to put the megalodon in, in four. The so, shark. The big yeah, the shark. giant shark. Yeah. So I, I would. I would love it. I actually haven't been keeping up with any of the Easter egg hunters, if there have been any as of late. Um, I mean, I'm sure that that stuff wouldn't have been live already. So I, I, probably as the game has come out, more people are going to start digging into the game and finding some of the Easter eggs. Dice just does an incredible job of like making people continuously go on the hunt, and sometimes those hunts can last for months, 
you know, I think even a year for the Megalodon, so pretty cool. Lava Camus had a question about playing with us. First of all, it's server 30589. We are playing on Xbox today, uh, but you can play on PC. It's available on PS4 also. Today we are playing on Xbox One, and that is how you join us. You just do a search for server 30589, and you can play with or against IGN. That's right, folks, and oh, this is not gonna look good here. Max is in, in a world of hurt. Uh, loses a little bit of damage. That was from the Sharpo from the anti-tank nave. It gets picked off from the rocket gun. Let's now jump over to Duggan's POV because Duggan's going to be sniping. And uh, quite like this here, uh, we saw a little bit of the sniper action the other day. And sniping in this game is extremely satisfying. Mm -hmm. um, you know, again, because it, it, it stays true to form with, uh, you know, the way that the guns fired back then. You know, they're, they're there's significant. There's bullet fall off. There's, there's leading that exactly. you have to do. It's, it's, it's some really, really cool stuff. Exactly. It's so rewarding to get a kill. And we saw some pretty sick snipes as well uh, throughout uh, the global battle. So not bad at all. And 16 damage there on that hit. So got a decent chunk, but not enough to really close it out here. And now uh, let's see if Duggan can continue to get these snipes and how he's going to work with his teammates to be able to secure the church because that is a very vital position on the map. Let's jump in. Towards the field. Well, you might have just died. Oh, oh god! We have taken objective That's cool. They'll all just spawn in the middle of the field. That's fine. We, we took D. Well, that's good that's news. Oh, the tank! Hey, there's a tank ready today if we can get that point back, but I don't think we can. Yeah. Um, switch back to medic. Let's go E! Ooh, hey, we're in a tank. Yeah, is somebody is one of our, our pals driving this tank. Todd, they have a tank coming from after the okay. I'm gonna pile up. Right, right. Oh, there's a cool yeah. kid over there. I'm trying to snag yeah, that. I grab it. Oh. oh man, you oh, should let sorry. me have it, buddy. Everybody's watching. I, I know you're, you're on the thing. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> I'm gonna chill behind the building because that feels like it's pure murder. Oh yeah, you can get me off the top. Here, I'll give, I'll give some health to the team. Yeah, let's get it. I'll try to take the tank out with this uh, kit. I hope our tank is feeling better soon. I got stabbed in the house. <laughs> I'm gonna head over to C. Oh, there's a guy healing it. Pile through that field, yeah. I disabled the tank. Good job. Because I just messed up. I destroyed the tank. If only we could see your screen, Justin, then all the viewers could watch you get sweet tank under shots. <laughs> I'm reducing your rations to half a ration. Oh, jeez. Never take I couldn't help myself. Tanks. I just saw it. And I, I didn't get serious. That is a lot of grenades. No man's land. <laughs> get that tank. Yeah. Six C is okay for now. We have lost objective apples. Let's go for it. Uh, it looks like they're coming in from C side. Towards E. C side. C side. C shells. I didn't know we were near the C. I'm not. Anybody wants to hop in this weed ass motorcycle? Oh, I thought you were in the tank, man. I was really excited. Where, uh, where is that motorcycle? I'll jump in. Oh, where are you? There's a lot of too late. I'm in the motorcycle. Oh, well. Great. I'm gonna hit A. We're doing an okay job of taking these back. Oh, wait. C's. We're losing C again. Yeah. Yeah, we got some enemy presence on the C. Let's see if we can get a squad wipe here. I'm gonna go out and see try to group up with you guys. Hell yeah. I'm retaking C. Oh! Oh, there, there's a plane of Right where I died, right on top of my corpse, there's a guy. Yes. <coughs> I'm, uh... Oh, Get him. well, oh, 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 I... That tank. Can I get revenge? <laughs> I can't get revenge! <laughs> I'll help you. 
Oh, there's a guy. Some guys just showed up on a motorcycle. Some hooligans. Some ruffians. I got him. Thank goodness. Now I've commandeered their vehicle, too. It's a good day so far. We're gonna try and take the... Oh man, there's a lot of people. Okay. All right, we should probably move off C. Let's, uh, oh god, there's grenades everywhere. Let's head B. I'm grabbing D. If you guys are near D, we can use some, uh, Are we gonna have incoming from A? Did you say there was a bunch up there? Oh, Tate, I see a no, bunch of guys around they're you. on A. Okay. All right, we, all, we almost have D. Yeah! <laughs> Where'd you die from, Tate? Was that close? They're coming to, uh, they're coming to B from A. Oh, nice. Uh, we're not stuck. Lost E already. Let's head. I think we should probably head E. No, there's a ton there. Let's go. Okay. Uh, let's go B. Looks like we're actually taking E. I'm gonna spawn on it. Oh, okay. All right, we are back. That was some of James Duggan's gameplay. Uh, he's having a good time, but he is actually behind. Losing by a considerable amount. Yeah. Uh, you know, about, what is it, 92 points at this time? 90 points, give or take. So, uh, you know, they, they, they can come back into this one, um, especially if they're able to get control of E, so C, D, E, F uh, could definitely work out in their favor. They'll have majority control. Um, but this is actually one of my, my favorite places uh, to fight here, right by the Abbey. I love this spot because not only is there just great cover with the pillars, but you also have the hill to hold down and things can get insane. This is like one of the first places I fought in, in Battlefield 1 when I played it for the first time. So fun. Yeah. Uh, let's switch over to Max, see how his team is doing as they are in the lead. Uh, Duggan is about to have a pretty big comeback. Is Max going to be able to hold this commanding lead? I mean, Max solo? Don't know. <laughs> but with uh, the rest of his squad, maybe. I mean, they were able to hold him off and, and, and gain considerable amount of points thus far, so I don't see why that wouldn't be the case. They have some great air control as well. Three birds in the air, so not bad there either. Um, and what, was that a flamethrower just right next to the... The one thing I love about Battlefield is that you're, you're looking at it and, and you see some ridiculous moment and you're just like, is that... Eh, whatever. And then you kind of just like move on because like there's really no other... A uh, possible answer <laughs> for what it is that you're seeing. Uh, Max, uh, they still have C. Uh, they're losing F. They need to hold those points. This could quickly turn to be in Duggan's favor again. Uh, and as you can see, it is now 50 points and quickly evening back out. Yeah, they're catching. They're catching up big time here. And you know, Max, I mean, he has that shotgun, but he has to be very careful because that shotgun can only do so much at a range, right? The trench shotgun is a very effective weapon when you're up close. Sometimes you don't necessarily want to go aiming down the sight with it, but you, it's it's a very good gun to use. Just can't use it in that medium range because it just won't really thrive. Definitely. So it is. It is getting really close. It's almost a 30-point game wow. now. Let's listen in on Max's chat and see how they're going to deal with this deficit. Nobody say any swear words because they're listening to us right now. <laughs> Hold on, I'm blowing a hole all in right. though. Okay. Um, all right, I think we're capping E. Watch out, they're all in the hills. There's a marksman and artillery. I'm down. Oh, cool. Where are you? Uh, there was a sniper in the main street. Crap. Uh, they just moved a truck in. Mm. Where's the truck? Uh, Where are we? Is gonna get me oh, we are doing very badly right now. Uh, relative to the flat yeah. north. Conquest is so hard. Uh, I'm just spawning on the squad. Let's go for D. Okay. Check out this yeah. picture of a woman. Yeah. Uh, okay. Let's lay down some defenses on D. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna throw some gas. So gas your mask up. All right. Oh, hey, I'm, what's up? I'm posting up in this building. Do not attack me on a horse. Watch out! There's a man on a horse with a sword. It's very upsetting. He's running around every which way. Him. Cool. Someone died in the they gas. They're pushing into the gas. Nice. I'll take him. Stupid guys. Do you get a sweet sword if you ride the horse? Oh, uh, yeah, you do. Uh oh, who's doing that? Oh, there's horse boy. Horse boy's back. Horse boy's again. Uh, they're in the hills. Do we have a medic on site? Uh, not at the moment. Uh, German horse in the vicinity. Over. Hold on. Horse, horse behind. 
Damn it. I got one point for wounding the horse, which I actually feel pretty bad about, so I don't know how that's, you know. I'm posting up a tail drone. I don't know if he's... Who is that? Alright, uh... They're pushing into D right now. Yeah, they would be. Fudge. Oh, okay. Fuck. Oh, that was shit. That's a giant. That's a stupid horse. Yeah, we're losing. <laughs> Careful, Max. I don't think you should push in. Alright. Well, they can have some of my free gas. You get points for killing horses. I don't know if I like this game anymore. I like horses. Uh, I'm Bayonet. Hey, cool. Got him. There's there's a bunch just inside those walls. So you know what we should do is blow the walls up. All right, where are we? I guess we're kind of coming back again. We had a really bad spot there for a minute. Ooh, free tank. Uh, what kind of tank do you guys want to hang out in? Heavy one? Heavy tank? Let's do it. Heavy tank. Rock and roll party time. Okay, Road trip in a tank. Let's go blow up. Duggan. Uh, sh we should go wait, wait. see. See? Yeah. Hey, another tank. Let's be, let's be tank pals. Yeah, let's go to C. Hey, that, quit screen cheating. Doug and screen cheating. But it's fun. It's fun. It's fun. This is a stealth tank. No one's supposed to know about it. On the right. Oh, yeah. Oh, come on. There's, there's a German him. right outside our tank. Ah. I'm not. Okay. I'm not on the gun though. Somebody get the. Somebody use Run the gun. Over. Use the gun. They just switch seats. Kick that guy out of the seat. If you're not if you're not using the gun in the tank, you're not using the tank right. All right. Uh, I will pull this tank over right now if you oh, boys no, don't knock it back. off. Hey, go to hell, Duggan. Ah, sunken roads. You have an engineer. That tank ah, is... Little baby tank, little baby tank, little baby tank. Oh, oh, oh! Damn it, Rip. Tie guy Travis. That's that guy Travis who wears ties every day. Got it. We got a tie guy. Thanks a lot for that gameplay, Max. No. I really, really appreciated seeing no, <laughs> from boo. that perspective. Boo! Uh, <laughs> I'm booing you. I Sorry. You're the worst. <laughs> Sorry, let's switch over to Duggan and see what's going on with his team right now. Uh, Ooh, for, wait, first here? plane planes, <laughs> now tanks a lot. You were waiting so long to fit that one in, too. I was oh. like, oh, we're going Mike's hot? I'm going to do this. It's I'm worth just, it. I'm just glad that our production crew in the back just <laughs> booed you yeah. so aggressively As that I even heard internet. it. As did the internet. As did the internet. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I've said some corny things, but <laughs> my god. Uh, you know what, though? Honestly, it, it, it's fine. I mean, it wouldn't be you if you didn't do it, right? Uh, but in any case, though, this matchup is certainly flipped on its side here uh, because it's 837 to 791, and Duggan's team is in the lead. Could this be because of the harsh, you know, iron fist ruling of James Duggan looking to take rations from people if they don't perform the duties admirably? Definitely. That has to be it. That is that the has answer. There's no other... Possible, right, you know, like like reason. situation or reason. There's nothing, right? Like that's it. Oh my yeah. goodness. He was down by a hundred when we went. Our it was getting to about the 50 range. Then we switched over to max, and now it has evened out. This is really, really, uh, you know. Well, for one, Duggan is playing smart. he's he's playing smart by just not getting up. Uh, you know, <laughs> when in doubt. Put your belly on the ground. But he's also tossing those med packs around for his teammates, right? Because of the way the crates work. If he actually keeps around him, he'll continue to heal himself as well as his teammates. It's a great tool to have. If you are playing the medic class, the one thing you want to do is unlock that medic crate. That thing is a lifesaver. The other, you know, the medic packs are good, but the crate is is the best. Still a close game, 880 to 830. Don't forget you can play with us. It's 503. Eight, nine, three zero five eight nine, three zero five eight nine. I'm just making up numbers. Three zero five eight nine is the the server that you are looking for. You just need to queue up. We are playing on Xbox today, so feel free to hop on in and join in on the fun. We will be getting into another game here shortly. 
and uh, James Duggan has respawned. They currently have A, C, E. This is not looking good here. So 100 tickets remaining uh, before this is over. So actually, uh, another interesting thing to note too, because of the way uh, you know, this game works, right? I mean, uh, Conquest is now points based, mm -hmm. um, which is you know very. I, I, I like it. It, it. It's created some interesting conversations amongst the community. Um, because, you know, Conquest typically is ticket-based, whereas, you know, you, you use a ticket for each time you spawn in, and the flags give you opportunities to spawn in at different points. Um, but now it, it plays out more like a, uh, like a domination game, where you capture the flags and gain points for the flags that you, uh, that you earn. Uh, but look at that. Look at the swarm that's looking to push over by that D flag, man. I'm, I'm loving that. They're looking to just get aggressive and flip this one right away and end this game. And I cannot even believe that this is happening. James Duggan has Ooh. led his team to victory Good through double kill there. treachery. Uh, He's going to run and go for the bayonet kill. No one's there. No one's there. But if they capture that point, that will probably be game. And you see that meter charging up on the side? That was actually how long it would be until he could use that bayonet again. So that actually is what... Our production guys in the back were talking about ah, got because it. I I missed that for some reason, but I never claimed to be a smart man. We have lost objective. Uh, they are. It looks like they're just gonna hold tight on B to finish off this game. They're 40 points from victory. Uh, ended up being a very close game actually. Uh, at the end, there, James Duggan's team did manage to switch around and take the lead, and I believe they're going to win. Yeah, yeah. There's nothing uh, that nothing that can happen in such a uh, in such a fast a turnaround that would actually give uh, Max's squad or Max's team the victory here uh, with less than 20 points remaining here for Duggan and his team. This is looking to be a victory uh, for, I believe he's playing for the uh, German Empire. Yes, he is. So playing for the Germans. And uh, overall, though, I mean, you, you're kind of just throwing it all out there at this point. Get everything you can. Get all the armor out that you can. Get all the planes out and just disrupt and cause as much damage as possible. With five points remaining, this is it. Mm -hmm. Yep, we are wrapping it up. Three, two, one, and GG. any second now. There it goes, victory for James Duggan. So that is one win, one loss for Duggan's team. Max uh, holding his own so far. What to say? You know, very surprising that, mm -hmm. you know, ended up flipping that way, but they were able to secure uh, quite a bit of flags there um, around that 750 point mark um, across across both teams. It was a, actually a really close game, too, and we mm -hmm. were looking at that one for quite a while in that game. It was a 28-minute game, as yeah. a matter of fact, so that's a, that's a lot of Battlefield to be playing. Definitely. When you go in with your crew, do you have a team composure that you like to construct before heading into battle? We sip what well, we do. We just run. We yeah. run forward, you know, and we believe in ourselves. <laughs> uh, you know, a good man once said, you know, uh, his name is Mickey Mouse. Yes. Uh, team, teamwork makes the dreams work. Oh. You know, um, I think he that's said lovely. that. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> but if I was James Duggan over there, mm -hmm. that's what I'd be telling my teammates rather Definitely. than taking rations. rations away from them. Definitely. You know, the iron fist of, <laughs> of Duggan. <laughs> Let's check in on <laughs> how that's chunk. working for them. Max. <laughs> Hey. James, how's uh, it going? Pretty so, good. Hungry. The rations are, uh, we're low on rations. <laughs> You're and always that's, hungry. Look well, that's you. actually the reason that I was, it wasn't because I wanted to demoralize my team because they weren't performing. I mean, that was part of it. But we're also just low. We're in a war, so we need to conserve food. You actually won. Why do they need demoralization <laughs> at all? <laughs> <laughs> when they do well, I punish them. When they do poorly, I punish them. That's how I rule. They're always my... striving for your approval. I think there's a word for that. It's a tyrant. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Max, uh, you guys were doing really, really well. Uh, it still ended up being a close game. Uh, what's your strategy going into the uh, next round? My strategy is to figure out halfway through the match how to get my mic to work. Uh, <laughs> and then I figure out that my, uh, my squad is actually... The one I'm talking to is playing for a different squad, <laughs> and then also I'm on the opposite team as Duggan. Got it. So I now. start looking at his team or screen. So there we go. Yeah. Hopefully we get out. to do better this time. Uh, I think we're all in the same squad now. Yes. Yeah, hey. we're actually hopping into a game. All right. uh, you guys it go? looks like you are not on the same team again. They are on the same team. They are. They are. Okay. They are so if you want to join us, Zip. it is just making sure here. It's so three, cool. Zero five eight nine. We are in war. I want this for my stream, man. Yeah. Is, right. 
Yeah, and I also just want to point out here, I don't have a bald spot. That's just a light. Although I, I am developing one. I'm getting old. My wife right. has pointed it out for it's me. all right. That's why you go with the short hair, right? That's very true. Yeah. When you go short, they never know. It's a good look on you, though. I try, man. I yeah. try. You know, decided to go with the, the bordello look here. <laughs> we could keep complimenting each other, but let's check out the <laughs> gameplay. There is You're some so horse handsome. action. <laughs> You're so handsome, Destin. Definitely. Uh, the horse versus tank matchup is not a good one for the horse. And we oh, see the horse the is horse fine. I don't know if you saw the horse. He just, he was just there. He was <laughs> the horse is like, I'm good. Yeah, he's 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 happy. Definitely starting uh, out. So this nice is, and even. This is quite interesting. This is a uh, conquest um, on on Suez, and it's a three flag map. Which I I mean, for a conquest game, typically you'll see this in domination. Uh, but this is this is conquest, so you're going to see tanks, you're going to see horses, you're going to see uh, you know all the vehicles that you would typically see on a conquest game, but this time in a much smaller uh, battlefield. Definitely. Uh, don't forget, you can chat with us at ign.com slash live. Uh, we're also fielding questions from YouTube and Twitch. Keep the questions coming. We will be answering them live on the air as we play today. And oof, there's the link on the on the site there, but. Looks like James goes down, Max is coming back into the action, fighting on those hills. That's the interesting thing about this map, those sand hills. Yes. They, they act as cover, and it makes it difficult to get a good beat on people with like a tank. Yeah, no better uh, cover than the, you know, than nature. Right, I mean, the, the sand hills do a brilliant job of just allowing you to be able to poke around, with, poke up when you need to, uh, and then prone back in, so that this way you can try and survive. But you always have to be wary about people coming up and, and catching you off guard, catching by surprise. Uh, but you know, James Duggan, not caring. He's gonna push out, and he's just gonna get aggressive right in front of them. Uh, not a care in the world for this man, and I respect it. Definitely. You know what? If you don't have a question, send us your best puns, because I like puns a lot. IGN.com slash live, and they will be fielded to me, and I will read them on the air if they, they are they, if they are superb. They are uh, they will be weighted by, you know, the best punner in this room. <laughs> That's right. You know? Is that is that even a word? I yeah. don't I don't know. But you are the benchmark of which all crappy puns are evaluated. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Sounds very <laughs> punchristing. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I heard that one in my ear, but you can go ahead and take it. I took it. I took it. I needed at least one, you know? <laughs> oh, dear Lord. James Duggan going prone, still trying to capture this A point. Just got there. Uh, still an even game early on. We got a ways to go right now. Hopefully it's another close one. Uh, everybody's on the same team right now. Hopefully. They can make something happen. Where's the combat? Well, right now, I mean, he's just, he really wants to feel the carpet's texture and see how, it, you know, like how it feels, the felt on his hands, and now he's on he's done with it. We actually have a question from Porza about when IGN started. That is an actual question. We actually just celebrated our 20th anniversary. Thank you so much for the support throughout those 20 years. Uh, yeah, IGN. What does IGN stand for? It used to be Imagine Games Network okay. at one time, but uh, now it's just IGN. Yeah, that's what we used to call when I worked for the IGN Pro League. We were the Imagine Games Network Pro League. Um, you know, yeah. we were the only ones who called ourselves that. Nice. But it was great, you know. Uh, actually, yeah, it's, it's uh, I mean, IGN's been around for such a long time. Almost know? 20 years. No, Our, wait, 20 years. We just, yeah, we just had a big celebration, actually. Yep. Uh, uh, we had a house party, everybody came. Uh, you know, big talents like Greg Miller, were there, and uh, Naomi Kyle, of course, and uh, our Unlocked, Beyond Cruise. Those are some of our other shows here at IGN. Uh, it's definitely uh, I didn't get an proud, invite, proud to be working here. I didn't get an invite. You were in New York. That's true. Oh, wait, was that yesterday? <laughs> no, 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 that was that last week. Oh, yeah, it was. Okay, never yeah. mind. You're right. Yeah, of course we would invite you. Thanks, man. Yeah. I was away. I was, I was uh, you know, busy, you know, doing other things. Justin, okay, I'll have you know. Canadian Bacon FX getting headshot. What we are getting that excellent sniper gameplay. What kind of interesting things were you working on? Uh, you know, stuff. Oh, wow. You know, um, because people Oof. like me, kind of. So that's that's what I, that's my story and I'm sticking with it there, that's Destin. That's good, that's good. That's all you need to know. Okay. <laughs> Breaking my heart over here. No, I, honestly, uh, yeah, IGN, I mean, I'll never forget, I, I tune in all the time for, um, for my review scores, actually, which still to this day I still do. Uh, actually, 
the most prominent one that I will never forget was when IGN gave their first perfect 10. Really? To Soul Calibur on the Dreamcast. That's right. Soul Calibur is a fantastic game. Yeah. I have to say that was a that was a that was a good old school one for myself. Definitely, definitely one of my favorites. We are actually gonna throw it over to James Duggan's team chat. Let's take a listen. We shouldn't go hungry at least, but I just don't want us to lose again. So don't get too full and get all lethargic and lose on right, we're on the mics now? Yes. So we got some uh, Oh, they're all on B. I need help with these. Ah, my feeble sniper body was not equipped to deal with that. What was that man doing to me? He was crouching up and down. I've never seen that before. Here, Tate, I'll spawn as a... How bizarre. They're actually capturing C as well. Can you take... Can you take... Can take all those that tank? Uh, yeah, so I think C is the play. Oh, hey, Max. Our buddy Max Scoville has a tank, so if you're with him, pile in. Oh, it's Max, huh? No, there is a tank in A. Alright, we got C back, but there is somebody here. We got B as well. Good. I couldn't get in there. Wonderful. Oh, There's a horse up there. It looks like a trap, but uh, I'm unconvinced and I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. Uh, I have a horse now. Sure, sure. Use the, use the sword. There's, there's another horse. Oh. There's a bunch of horses. Oh, there's that tank. I disabled the weapons. On the there's a mortar. I'm going to take him out. Oh, my gosh. That was crazy. Or not. It's Destin. Destin. Why did you kill me, man? <laughs> They're taking me. There's another horse. I'm going to... Destroy the tank, at least. Uh, right. I think B is okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab some cover. They're, they're swarming on B. They are swarming on B? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, they're taking B. I think we should move uh, to the east to A. I feel like that was a headshot, but uh, I'll take it. I don't understand. Hey, Max is at A. Everybody spawn on Max if you can. Uh, and uh, we're about to get triple capped, so I'm going to prevent that from happening. Taking B. Taking B. Yeah, just took yeah, back B. Yeah. There's somebody on this point, but who? I have a feeling he's in this building. I can smell his stench. I have a feeling you're right. Oh, I was right. I got him. We're all, we're all fine. Oh, no, there's another one. I took B. Wow, dude, I just held back that one. Hey, I got ran out of my fucking right, so Okay, let's see. These guys suck. Hey, let's show some sportsmanship. I'm not that like a sportsman. James Duggan putting in a little bit of work on the enemy team there. Good Bane impression, not great. 7.5 out of 10. <laughs> oh, that was a good one. That was such an IGN uh, like way to do it yeah. too. It was a 7.5 out of 10. <laughs>
For more impressions, IGN.com. Definitely putting a little work in with that pistol, man. Yeah, actually a, a little more, more like a lot. He is slaying, and, and the pistols in this game are so good. Uh, I don't think a lot of people really appreciate how much damage you can do with the pistol, especially on hip fire. But I do enjoy that uh, Duggan has opted to pick up the Lewis here. This is a fantastic machine gun, uh, and on top of which, it's a part of the support class, which is super fun to play if you know and have a squad that can work together. Um, if you're using that machine gun, you, you, you can do a sizable amount of damage, but it's not as good from the hip as something like an M16, like the MP18. Uh, you need to aim down sights. You need to utilize uh, those iron sights to take out the enemy combatants with an AR. Yeah, it's an accurate close range, right? It's so like it, it's, oh, oh that was nice. an impressive snipe. Squad wiped, that's gonna be a hefty chunk of points. You can actually see that the enemy team did get the, the train. They're gonna bring the war train into action. That's right, but how are they gonna use it, right? You know, the, the behemoth is only as good as the people who are inside taking advantage of, uh, you know, what it does. So a lot of, uh, a lot of opportunity uh, for our British squad, but I, I, just, I just don't know, given how things have been going so far. I mean, we have a sizable amount of lead, uh, or sizable lead here for the German team, or excuse me, for the Ottoman squad against our British Empire team. Got it, and James is trying to get a snipe on that sniper. He has really dug in. <laughs> that was from, that was actually from Crazy Gamer 1000. I can't take credit for that, but thank you for the puns. Keep them coming. IGN.com slash live. This is the best day of my life. I get to read puns live on the air. I am so happy right now. Uh, capturing A. We James need more. is in the lead. 700 to 379, he gets taken out. We need at least one more, man. Oh, go for Ooh. the no scope, go for the no scope. Hit him with it, hit him with it. Go for the quick scope. Oh, uh, never mind. Oh, that is brutal. Oh, man, he just stabbed him. Awesome. <laughs> Takes out Duggan. Oh, dare I say he really dug in with that knife there. Oh, that's very good also. Uh, yeah. I, I, I like that one better. I like that one better. I'm, I'm happy with it. Um, <laughs> actually, that'll be my... That'll be my pun for the day. <laughs> you're, just, you're done. I'm done. <laughs> I have somebody live feeding me puns into my earpiece. This is like a glorious day for me. I, yeah, you should honestly have an IFB hooked to your ear at all times. And then just someone uh, is feeding oh, no. those puns into your ear. It's perfect. He stole my horse, apparently. Somebody is out there playing on my account. So it's not me that you're killing all the time, everybody. Yeah, I know, right? If you really don't like puns, though, take yeah. it out on Destin L in yeah. the server. It yeah. will certainly, you will I certainly will take feel note. satisfied. Definitely. So, what's going on with that train? Oh, nice. There it is. I mean, the train's basically been ineffective, right, for, for a majority of this game. Uh, if they start to take advantage of it here, here we go. Oh, my oh, goodness. Wow. Look at this. Dug in the high hope silver. Well, nice it, job. It is my horse, so I have high expectations. Indeed. Indeed you do. Look at this. He jumps over a wow. building. What is that? Oh. That is just absurd. Oh. Let's throw it over to Max to see how he is doing at this moment. Looks like he is crawling through the sand. Trains. He dislikes trains. I hate them. I Confirmed. Don't dislike them. I hate the train. <laughs> so you take your rage out on that train there, Max. Is that train dead? No, nope, still going. No, it's, it's, that, that train is, is far from dead, and, and Max's nades will do literally nothing because he whiffed it. So. <laughs> Let's listen to his team audio as they they wait for these charges to be detonated. What's going on over there? Oh man, I really just brought the wrong stuff. I can't just pick it up. I mean, I know what happens. It's it's dynamite. I just go up and just like throw rocks at him. chunk is dug in, right? <laughs> Guys, I'm gassing the train. This is gonna be great. What happens if you climb up on the train? Can you like shoot? Can you make it shoot itself? Hey, what's up? <laughs> oh, this train is, is really... Man. Look at this. There's a man over here. Well, that didn't work. Anyway, uh... <laughs> you guys want to mess up this train with me? 
I really, I really hate it. <laughs> Here, let me screw up my loadout. What did I have? I had dynamite. I wanted. Hi, yes. Uh, do the anti-tank mines work against trains, or is it just a? Uh... I feel like we could just lift the tracks up, and that would be. What if we painted one of those Wiley e. Coyote tunnels, and it just drove into it? Smart. I think it's a good idea. Yes. Uh... Oh, get out of here! Look at these dorks hanging out by the train tracks, trying to protect their stupid car that only goes one direction. Watch this bayonet charge. Is production ready for this sweet bayonet charge? What's happening over here? That's disgusting. Why would you do that? <laughs> we have lost objective. Man, how about a C though? I'm moving back towards B. Canadian bacon should be banned for protecting the train that's against uh the rules. I don't like it. Here comes some sweet bayonet charge action. There's more. There's more where that came from. Canadian bacon. <laughs> I hate that guy. He's dead now. Good. Good work. We have taken a All of the sick is... It doesn't work when they're looking at it. Nope. Oh, that's a tank. Hey, Behemoth, I'm gonna shoot you with my cool gun. Right. Yeah, nice. It's gonna be quite the feast of rations when this is through. Cisco, what are you doing? Just got ran over by a Mark V. <laughs> is Cisco here? Yeah, he's on, he's on my team. Oh, shout out to Cisco. Can't pronounce your last name. This seems like an absolute train wreck for the opposing team. <laughs> Uh, they, they have the train, they're not effectively utilizing it, and uh, there's a commanding lead by IGN right now. <laughs> what is... Okay. What? <laughs> All right. Oh yeah, because you don't have a... Uh, I don't think... Oh, he does. He does have a bayonet on the Oop. shotgun. Because that makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> you know? I'm sure. Yeah. yeah. No, I mean, I, I would too. It's like... When Just in doubt, case, what if you run out if of If the short-range shotgun that will obliterate someone doesn't work, stab them. Yeah. What I think it, in there? it was probably about running out of ammo, right? You're oh, in those close quarters. Very true. Very so. true. I, I, listen, I understand you're trying to bring let's some get, logic into Let's this. get serious. Let's get second. serious. And let's go, speaking of serious, jump over to James Duggan, a.k.a. Hunk McJunk. Never mind. He's dead. <laughs> <laughs> right. He, he died. To, he was stomped by the romper stomper. Yeah. <laughs> it's a good one. I'll we, take it. I will take it. All right. So there you have it. Victory. Congratulations to our IGN staff here for kicking butt. We kicking have names. one yet again. Don't forget you can play with us 30589 on Xbox. Uh, we are going to set up for the next game here in just one a second. More. One more round in the IGN Global Battle. Brought to you by Battlefield 1, and we are playing Battlefield 1. That's right. I wouldn't have known, yeah. honestly. It, you know? <laughs> but I think the good news is, though, uh, you guys are going to be able to play this game. It, it's come out today, as a matter of fact. Yep. It's awesome. You guys are going to love it. Seriously, it's not just one of those things that you say because you're, you're hosting it. Like, I, I've been uh, playing this game nonstop, yep. especially in Alpha and in Beta, and I'm so excited to just play this game one more time once I get home. Can't wait. But let's actually tune in with our awesome competitors here, uh, Max Koval and James Duggan. How are you guys doing today? Very well. That was a great game. Yeah, it was fun. I'm glad we we're on the same team. It makes it a lot easier for me. Um, <laughs> I agree. Yeah, that's, that's, I like that map a lot. I like how kind of just like how linear it is. And sure. I, uh, I hate the train, so, you know. Yeah, there's this dichotomy between like some of the conquest maps where you just have to look absolutely everywhere, but that one's really nice because it's three points, super simple. Train comes in, you blow up the train. It's a great time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Max, so you know that, that the shotgun doesn't work at sniper rifle range, right? I know. It's worth a shot. It's worth a shotgun. I mean, what am I going to do? It's like, I'm going to die inevitably, so I might as well just kind of, you know, rush in there. I, I respect your hustle. Yeah. I truly do. <laughs> take truly take do. a hit point or two off of the enemy, at least with the shotgun, is your thought process? I feel like it just annoys them, you know? <laughs> so. <laughs> oh, yeah. what was that? Uh. Yeah. I mean, it does say you're not expected to survive. 
That is true. The game. That is Look true. Look at that. I'm just yeah. fitting it all in there. I'm getting no help from this at all. They set up your expectations. They, they, yeah, at they, the very they beginning, really do. They really you do. are going to die often. I actually, that is a game. that is a really cool intro segment. When you guys do get your game for the first time, uh, if I you haven't already, uh, that is like the first thing you play through, um, and they tell you that you were not expected to survive. So you play through this, and you you die like immediately, and it moves you to another part of the field, and and then you just realize like. Uh, and, and what's even more chilling about it is how uh, you see, like, how long they lived. A lot of these guys were, like, 18, 20, yeah. right? like, really young people. Mm -hmm. um, and it's made very apparent when you see how long they lived. It, it was, it's, it's very, very shocking. But look behind us. We're flying. We're, we're flying. Yeah. Let's go ahead and jump into the action and uh, check out uh, James. And actually, James is flying, and Max is flying, too. We have... We have a bunch of, uh, you know, a bunch of pilots over here. Double aerial combat. Let's see what work they can get done here in the very beginning. Do not crash into the ground. That is bad. That is oh, not oh. what you want to do. Who's, uh, who's Goose? Right, was that his name? A wedge? I don't know, Goose these guys. From, from Top Gun. Why am I, why am I saying wedge? Oh, that's from Star Wars. You had it right. Yeah, it's Goose. There you go. Yeah. And, and actually, that, that is an interesting thing to bring up there, folks, by the way. You, you happen to have seen James repairing uh, his plane. You can actually do that. Same you could with tanks. Um, you could repair the vehicles, but you lose mobility through, throughout that time. So you want to make sure that you're doing it in such a way where, like, you're okay, like, maybe flying in a straight line. You don't want to do it when you're turning because then you'll just dive right into a mountain, and that doesn't end well for anybody. Definitely. Take an objective yeah, there's fighters, there's bombers. What are all the plane types? Yeah, so they, there's the attack plane, the fighter, and the bomber, right? And the attack plane is kind of like the hybrid. Oh, um, he has oh my drugs. goodness. Guys. He, he's the using the left. plane class, though, the, or the, uh, the pilot class, or vehicle class, if you will. And their gun is not typically the best. You won't get a lot of kills with it. If he had any other gun, though, he would have been able to clear him out. Um, so, yeah, the the vehicle classes, uh, you know, it's a new thing in Battlefield 1 as well, right? It's specific, uh, a specific class uh, for vehicles that you hop into, so, you, you know, you'll have a specific weapon and, you know, survivability, but, you know, kind of like the intro to the game, you're really not expected to survive um, because it's, it's not easy, right? I have actually played a whole game as a tank class, yeah. Um, one time, which was insane because you're actually able to hop back into vehicles and, and repair and do a lot of things. Um, it was pretty fun. So you can hop out your team that way if you if you take that particular class. You can hop out, repair the vehicles, keep, yeah, you keep can. your team yeah. fully powered up. And there are different possible. kinds of repairs too. Like when you repair um, from within, it, it fixes certain uh, elements of the tank, such as your aiming mechanics and whatnot. Uh, from when you repair from outside, it, it replenishes your health and gives you more uh, more to work with. But there's different there's different kinds of repair methods too, which is pretty fun. So it's all about just how you go and, and take advantage of it. It's pretty fun. All right, so let's see what we have here. As we are on Monte Grappa, and this is a great map, and oh no, look at that there, James is jumping out of the plane there. Definitely, they were fighting over C for a while. I think they're gonna go with a different strategy, try and take A, nobody seems to be over here. That would be really good. They were really fortified there at C, so it's time to move on. Do you wanna take that? No. Do you wanna take it? <laughs> no. It was a good one. Go ahead. I uh, no, I think you should. You wait, are you evaluating that this is not a good pun? No, it's too easy. I'd it's already made the plane joke. <laughs> now you have to read it. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, Jurassic Rabbit says, this is just plain old fun. I love being a pilot in this game. It's uh, great. Let's throw it over to James and Max really quick, see how they're doing. Oh god. I'm gonna be in on C though. Uh, if you guys are dead, you can spot me. Oh, you yeah, are. Sweet. I get back up. So C is a tunnel. We're gonna get in there and we're gonna evict them from this tunnel. There's a tank though, so I hope we're gonna lose assault. We are both assault. We are both assault. Good, 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 good. I'm gonna go around the other side. We are messing this dude up. Good stuff, guys. Damn it. Down. Tank uh, down. Yeah. Got him. 
<laughs> they are pouring out like rats. Uh, all right, guys, let's get on the board. There's a tank coming in to see behind you guys. Uh oh, uh oh. There's health here. There's health here. There's no way I left it back. I think we're gonna wanna leave. I'm out. See ya. Oh, we need there's a to, tank uh, in the oh, yeah. that's, that's, that's what I do. I'm trying to spawn on you. I should, I should perhaps switch. You can spawn on me. Kate. Oh, spawning on Whoa. Yeah. Where's the tank? Should be right. It's coming in the opposite side. Do you have a uh, rocket turret? Can you see it? We got two friendly tanks right here. I feel like those should be enough. You know what? I'm gonna get out of here. Let's go. Uh, let's go A or B. Let's go B. All right, somebody jump in my jump into my chopper. Uh oh. Uh oh. Where are you I'm stuck in the mud. This tank. Get in! Oh my god. It's all terrible. What is going I'm on? In, but I'm almost I dead. I don't know how to handle the clutch on this thing. What? It's super impossible to. There we go. Okay. All right. Sweet. We're good. Can I kill this guy. Uh, too bad. We can't. I say we go for D and E. We have D and E. Who's that? Um, all right. Let's go B. Let's go D and then let's uh, hit B by oh, working our way along the outskirts here. There's a tank down in the valley. Oh, there's a lot of people. Yeah. Holy cow, that's a lot of people. Yeah, there's a lot of people. Let's toss grenades out. Ooh, that was a really good. That was a really good point. B. I gotta go with my grenade. Oh, shoot, can you grab me, Drake? Yes. Looking for a squad wipe here. <laughs> Not gonna happen. Right on my corpse, there's two. There uh, is a medic this. alive. Two oh, medics alive, so they look probably like a medic. All the time. I'm gonna heal you. Nope, you skipped out. out. Damn it. I'm glad you're able to see it. Think about doing some <clears throat> armor gameplay. Get out, grenade. From that. Need to get this tank out of here, dude. He's just oh, are they in B? Yeah. Tate heads up, there's a bunch to your left. Oh my god. There's four guys right on my course. That grenade will work, we'll see. That tank is almost down, you guys. <clears throat> They're, uh, that squad is definitely looking to take that point, so. Oh man. Spawned at a bad place. We're gonna have to. We should uh, actually all pile into that bunker down there. The C is getting taken. I'm gonna spawn on C. I'm gonna leave that up to you guys. <clears throat> I hope there's not a tank in here. This is gonna be a terrible decision. And I am getting just dominated. Yeah, me too. Oh, that tank in C is just doing work. There is a tank in C. Okay. We should we should loop around to take A. Yeah, right. I'd like a vehicle. We're getting, we we're about to get absolutely. Wow, they're taking E as well. Yeah, they're taking E. We have lost we'll take E back so we get that tank spawn. Alright, I'm, I'm heading to A if you guys want to spawn on me. Our heavy tank isn't doing that much work for. Taking E. behind that rock I'm providing a spawn point on the other side of the map if you guys need it. <clears throat> Damn, we're getting slaughtered. All right, Tatum, coming in. I'm sorry. We have taken objective Edward. Took E. We have one. Head towards C right now. 
Alright, heads up there's a tank in there last to check. What started out as a pretty close game has quickly gotten away from the IGN team. It looks like uh, all points were captured at one moment by the enemy force, so good job community. <laughs> yeah, and you know, this is it. This mm -hmm. is the last game. IGN needs to step it up, or will the community That's get right. their victory? Will the world win? That's the, that, those are the, these are the, the serious questions here, Des. The serious questions. Yeah, so uh, Marcus Burns actually had a question for us. You can ask your question over at IGN.com slash live. And he wants to know what our favorite classes are. What are yours? Ooh, that's a toughie. Uh, there are a lot of really fun ones. Um, yeah, I mean, you know, there's... I, if I had to pick one, uh, I would say it would be the medic. And I have to go with the medic. I think the reason why, I mean, although I do love SMG gameplay, but like I just love being able to shoot the semi-automatic uh, rifles that the mm -hmm. meta class has. The mid-range. Yeah, weapon it's is super really, fun really to use, right? You can kind of you can kind of play around with it and and, and try out different styles. You can be a bit more aggressive, a bit more passive. So it it really does strike that balance. But I would be lying to you if I didn't say that. And love playing some SMG gameplay. So Definitely. it's a tie, but Medic is going to get the, the edge on this one for this question. What about you? So when I start initially, I always go Assault. Just kind of get used to the, the playing field, you know, get used to actually getting a few kills <laughs> once yeah, in a while. Yeah. You know, but it's, it's a lot of deaths in that class because everybody else does have that mid to long range weaponry. Uh, you're going up against a lot of veteran players in my case. So I have, to, I have to learn the new mechanics. So I start Assault, but I am definitely loving this Medic game. Play. Yeah. I, I want to try out those uh, area of effect heals. That is going to be really, really strong for helping out your team. And then additionally, the bayonet charge just looks fun. Yeah, yeah, it's, it definitely is. I mean, if I had to rank my favorite classes, I would have to go. Um, and, and this is like the edge is so, so close here. Uh, but it'll go medic assault, support, and then scout mm -hmm. um, for me. Uh, you know, I don't really count the. the uh, tank or the vehicle classes um, because yes they are their own classes but you know it's like if you prefer vehicle gameplay you're gonna play vehicle gameplay no matter what um, but as far as the classes that are available to you at the offset uh, you know I, I that's how I would probably rank rank it but they're all fun to play right I mean we saw you know Duggan do some work with the scout class right yeah uh, there's a lot of really fun stuff you could do there so it, it just depends on like what your what your taste is but uh, and that's the fun part about this game. For me, Scout is a little tricky to use. Like you that sniper, you fire once, awesome. and if you miss, you just got that uh, that vulnerability time when you do the reload between each round. Uh, so for me, yeah, I need something like Assault. I need something like Matic, where it's like, okay, you get a 10-round burst, and then you do your reload. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, it's interesting, too, because for, for a very long time, right, DICE has been playing around with the uh, different approaches for the classes mm -hmm. um, and what their roles were. I believe there was even one point where the assault class basically became the medic class. It was like an assault medic class hybrid yeah. uh, because it was like, well, you know, what do you need one with the other? But in this one, they, they really did want to set out their defined roles, especially with the uh, uniqueness of the weaponry. Uh, nice, a hungry hippo, eat that, hey -o. That was a good one. Um, and then goes after Canadian bacon. That's... Uh, that was a good one. Uh, so yeah, I mean, I think overall, right? It just depends on like what your taste is and what what guns you want to use, and the way you actually access those guns are through the war bonds. Uh, yeah, definitely. Testing. Yeah, so war bonds allow you to unlock uh, certain items that will allow you to make a build that you weapons and gadgets uh, that you that you can uh, utilize. We actually have a best way to play coming up over on IGN.com, written by our own James Duggan, Duggan recommending the stuff that you should unlock first. So look for that uh, today or to early tomorrow. Yeah, that's actually a pretty good, uh, pretty good uh, piece of advice, and I'm looking forward to checking that out for myself. But yeah, I mean, you use the war bonds to unlock a variety of uh, weapons and gadgets in the game, uh, especially for primaries. It's it's particularly useful. Um, and as you accrue them, you just always want to be careful of like at the beginning of what what's your preference, like what what is it that you're going after. I, I'm of the mindset that if you accrue a decent amount of war bonds, you you the the thing is right the guns. It's, it's a taste thing, right? So if you've been wrecking shop with one gun, stick with that gun, mm -hmm. right? That's okay. But then at a certain level, go after your, uh, you know, your medic crate, right? Um, yeah. And we've I, seen yeah. just the gameplay today how helpful that medic crate was. Exactly, right? Uh, even for, you know, supports, right? Uh, you want to be able to 
pick the appropriate um, you know equipment there as well. So really, it just depends on like what it, what your taste is. But I, I am looking forward to seeing that particular video. And this door just will not open here. Uh, does not seem to be opening up. <laughs> so it is 200 war bonds for primary and 150 for sidearms. So that's right. And pilot, tanker, and cavalry are 150 as well. Yeah, and there are different things that you can get, right? And you can equip them and purchase them and equip them in the uh, in the menu. Wrecked, um, wrecked. Oh, oh no. no, he's not able to oh. get that. Nice, good job. Good work. Look at that. Let's go. Wild style. Not able to stay alive there, but and the other cool thing too is as you're going to see right when players pick up different kills and, and you know and whatnot with the weapons, um, you'll actually see uh, a name of, of the, the weapon right. There are different variants for the guns. And another thing I really like too, when you get a chance, you can actually go into customize your uh, your gun. Um, and, and this customization, I, I think, is Jeez. pretty oh, that is brutal. Just using the, the trench work around to keep these guys on Canadian their Canadian bacon. Flanking them over and over again. He's always a follow-up killer with this. <laughs> He's always a follow-up. But what I was going to say was, you can actually uh, customize the magnification mm -hmm. for, uh, you know, you're, you're aiming down the sights. Um, there's just a lot of really cool things you could take advantage of if you're, if you're like, uh, you know, that's your thing, right? If you just want to jump in and, and, and beat up people, by all means, go yeah. on ahead and do that too. Now, if you're if you're really, really serious, uh, you can actually expand your field of view within the menu on Xbox One. Which is actually something that you don't see as much. Mm -hmm. I, not, I on console. Console. not on console. Not on console. It's not something you see a lot. So huge shout out to DICE for doing that because I, I do like playing games with a field of view that is, a, you know, a little little more uh, brought out there, so I do quite enjoy that. But you know what, speaking of the field of view, nothing's better than looking above the battlefield, and that's exactly what Max is doing here, mm -hmm. as he is gonna be uh, looking to- on that Zeppelin. Yeah, he is taking advantage here, uh, you know, using that air ground, and that this is actually a really good uh, example of the behemoth gameplay here, and what the Zeppelin, or not actually the Zeppelin, excuse me, the airship, because Correct. Zeppelin actually is a brand mm -hmm. and not the name of it. Uh, I didn't know that. Pretty, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, learned that day one as I started doing <laughs> Battlefield commentary. They were like, just so you know, it's an airship, not a Zeppelin. I was like, oh, really? Why is that? Because Zeppelin's a company. Mm -hmm. So, boom. There you go. Uh, Max is doing a little bit of work here on B. Uh, they are shelling the Ooh. war warship. Oh man! What are we calling it? Yeah, that <laughs> Not is the Zeppelin. airship. The airship. airship. <laughs> yeah. The the behemoth. The airship behemoth. But uh, yeah, and and that is actually a really smart strategy there that he did. I, I don't know the effectiveness of those particular nades, but it seemed like a, you know with the bombs they were were pretty useful and Max just decided he had to get out of there so he switched seats so this way he can avoid it and continue to rain down death and destruction yeah. onto this eight point. He's playing smart, he's getting the enemy hits, gets the kill on Holy Angel. He actually took out Duggan before so he's getting a little bit of revenge for his teammate and he is still continuing to work on the people trying to take over A. Keeping the game pretty even, we are back to a fairly even score, 546 to 642. I thought I thought our team may have lost it there for a second, but they managed to bring it back. Yeah, they're rallying back, right? That's great. Uh, you know, obviously it's always good to see that being the case, but I think uh, they still have their work cut out for them here, as this game has certainly not uh, been easy for them uh, by any means whatsoever. Uh, but they do have the behemoth, and this is the time that they take advantage and come back into this game and use this area, mm -hmm. aerial, uh, aerial superiority, air superiority, whatever. Uh, to come out on top here. Yeah, and uh, they're using it very effectively. They have A, B, C, they're capping E right now. If they can make that happen, they could quickly turn the tides and pull back into the lead. Hopefully Max can put a little bit of fire on those enemy I would focus, planes. I would focus on the planes, exactly, yeah. Destin. That, that, is, that is the play here, but uh, this airship is gonna be in a world of hurt. Only one yeah, there percent goes. left, and that is gonna do it. So no more airship, but what's really cool here is that where the airship lands, that's actually where it, where the, the skeleton of this giant behemoth vehicle yeah. will rest. So that actually will be on B. Yeah. Look at that, you've seen it just rain down. It's probably one of the coolest things about this game. It's gonna totally change the battlefield. That was one of their things at the reveal. And now we're actually gonna switch over to Duggan really quick and see uh, what is going on as he flies in over by B where that airship crashed. Yeah, this is, uh, of course, I know that for them, they, the they really needed that airship, but a good job from 
you know, the uh, enemy squad here, the red team, to be able to come out and, and really focus fire on that behemoth before it got out of hand. You notice, too, they were controlling, uh, the blue team was controlling a, a decent amount of the battlefield, and that was due to the uh, presence of the airship. But because they've, they've lost it, now it's gone right back to boots on ground combat. And let's see how this all unfolds here, and won't be able to get away from that. Enemy team being very smart, letting Duggan make an accident happen. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, just taking himself <laughs> out. On the, on the quotation. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, man. That's amazing. Yeah, uh, let's take a listen in and see how he feels about that amazing play. In just a second here, for now, here's James. He's spawned back in. He died again. Have you guys, when was the last time you guys had an accident? I mean, I haven't had one since I was like maybe 10, but I just had one that I feel pretty Oh, that's how it was. Yeah. Uh, they're in C. I feel like there may be a tank. I'm going to spawn in with it. Our guy is just so clueless. Spawn in with a medic kit yeah, so I can do absolutely no damage. That's a very, that plane is. That's, that's very interesting. It's a very interesting plane. Oh, did he pop out? I'm going to punish him. Where are you? He's not around. That tank just unloaded on Oh, there's his bad. It's all bad. Don't go and see. Oh, man. Hey, we're not doing too bad on points, though, actually. Um, I'm going to flank around the other side of C. If anybody wants to spawn on me, appreciate it. All right, the tank is still there. What? Against it. Oh. Don't see me. I am the ground. I am the ground. Oh, he's easy. I got so many You got him. You got him. Tanker pile out. All right, let's get in that point. Go, 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 go. How the hell did Grenades out on C. Only one thing we can do here. There's a tank on A. Oh, nobody's here. Anytime I do that, man. Good news. I'm gonna take C. They are coming from the south side of C. Ooh, wow. The tank blew you up. Oh, okay. Can you come across the people? Like, did you crash your plane? Alright, good stuff. We took one point, we lost three, so it's all good. Um, <laughs> let's head back to T. Huh? We just heard you guys talking about C, so we were like, let's go get everything else. You're on our team, Travis. You're being a big jerk no, defecting. No, I'm on the other team. Well, I mean, but at heart, right? Yeah, at heart, I'm dead. Oh, come on. Can't shoot me behind my box. Uh. <laughs> My bad on that, Max. You know, sometimes during the breaks. Uh, we got Duggan, Duggan, Doug, Duggan, Dustin, Justin, and Desmond. It's really not easy. <laughs> okay. We have a few uh, people whose names begin with a D at the company. That is definitely correct. Uh, Duggan was doing some work there. They managed to cap C, lost a few points. Uh, hopefully, we can make a clip out of that accident gameplay, though, from before. That oh, is definitely that what I want to focus on. For the rest of the stream, we are at the <laughs> end of it. Basically, they lost because of James' accident, I well, think. Well, you know, they're not out of it just yet, though. Oh, uh, and he oh, gets the base. Nice. So they are going to be able to flip B here, so they get control of this one. And if they're able to take D, they actually could come back into this game. But they need to hold their current flags. If they give anything up, that will be very, very bad. So this is looking really good, Dustin. Yeah, the IGNers could come back. Yeah, I mean, that would be great. The other team is going into the 900s, though. I always get nervous when uh, your opponent oh, is that, that far ahead. Uh, looks like we have some uh, turret control here. Oh, oh, nice. Hopefully they can uh, hold this point and make something happen. Have a big comeback. That would, that would be an awesome. This is actually a good spot here on D. Mm -hmm. I mean, they, they definitely need uh, to get players around there. But if you're able, if you like bring a tank in here, that thing will get obliterated by that. Definitely. And it. Oh, oh man. I was really hoping you'd hit that. Just it a, little bit, a little closer. And yeah. We got it. 
Yeah, so w right now uh, we are losing C, but we have D and E for now. We're capping A. Hopefully they can get at least three points, and then then we would have a chance to come come back here. We have lost a Damn. Of Did we just switch? They do need to clear out this. Uh, no, he was inside of that, oh, okay. um, so he jumped out. But they do need to clear out that one player by D, or else they they will end up losing it. So. Just gotta be very mindful of that. Um, I believe they did, and they should be flipping C here. Let's see, Duggan, good job nice. there, taking out Enigma and looking around to see if we can find one more person. Mm -hmm. Enemy there he is. is gonna pop up to the left, finds oh. one, won't be able to clear him. Tie Guy, Travis, comes out on top there with the kill. Tie Guy, the defector. Thanks, the Tie Guy. The so really, they had they had an inside, they had a mole. They, they had, had a, a mole, mole <laughs> inside the enemy team. <laughs> that is it. That is what's happening today. They had a mole, it's uh, done. Like oh boy. <laughs> Definitely. It's Dug into down to the wire here as well, on fire. Yeah, yeah. We are at the end of the game. We are within about 75 points, 80 points, and uh, going towards the end of the match. Can IGN crew make something happen? We'll have to wait and see. There's that uh, behemoth from before crashed onto the ground. Yeah. Uh, I love that mechanic. Still. Yeah, it's cool, right? Like, it's just, you know, it's there. It creates a new uh, element on the battlefield. And in this particular uh, map, though, because of the open terrain and the hilly terrain, I, I can't really see the, uh, you know, the ruins of the, of the behemoth really mm -hmm. factoring in. But still, it's just one of those really cool things to see. Definitely. Duggan still, still putting in work, trying to uh, do what he can for the team. Uh, I have to give credit to the, the medics on, on this team. They are really good about reviving their teammates. If you do decide to pick the medic class, make sure you're actually utilizing all those tools that we talked about uh, at your disposal. Get your revives, keep your team alive. Yeah, but even then though, right? Uh, think about this. You know, Duggan did throw on both of his anti-tank mates, and if there's, if there's a tank that pops up, right, he can't really deal with it. That's where the support is actually gonna play a big role, because support can throw down some ammo crates that will be able to give them, uh, you know, some very key, uh, you know, very key uh, reloads there so they can get right back into the action. So again, you always wanna think about those things, and I like this too, you can lock that door, yep. uh, which is pretty nice. Here we go, and James is uh, also now in a yeah. turret. Can he take out this point? James is in a turret. He's gonna try and look for any heavy artillery or oh just boy. enemies that run in front of his scope. Hits that guy for 79 points. It's 972 oh to 858. It ended up being a lot closer. What? I don't know what happened there. All right, <laughs> okay. that, he's, he's dead. <laughs> Having a little bit of fun as we come to the end of the stream here. Yeah. Gets taken out by his foe. That's right, got picked off from behind. There's gonna be 20 points remaining for the red team here. Let's go ahead, jump over to Max, who's gonna try and secure C for his team. And there Gets is gonna be about, oh, yeah, there's gonna be two people left on that point there. Bayonet Charge is gonna find his way as AT Monster 99. Good work there. Doing some work with a shovel. Yeah, I know. That's yeah. what I'm saying, right? That trench warfare, man, that shovel is deadly. Uh, yeah, very effective. He's just digging in there at C and uh, making a name for himself. Because he has a shovel. Yeah. All right. <laughs> yeah, we are wrapping it up. That <laughs> is the last end. one. <laughs> That's the last pun of the stream ever again. Yeah. Oh, jeez. All right. That I'm is. I'm gonna miss that. Oh uh, yeah, I'm gonna miss hanging out with you too. It was uh, fun. It was great. Let's uh, let's see how the the guys feel. Guys, you lost, but that uh, ended up being a lot closer than I thought yeah, it would yeah. be. Yeah. I'm proud that we, that we were able to make. Uh, at least um, bring it to 100 points. I can live with that. That was my first time with the airship, which is I really like. <laughs> yeah, Max, you were actually doing a lot of work, doing some good stuff there. Yeah, yeah. I was uh, taking advantage of killing people from the sky. Uh, yeah, I love that. I love that map because there's that bunker you can just hide out in and lock the doors, and you just kind of like it's like we got a clubhouse. You can't come in here, and then they get dynamite. And you're like, oh, never mind. You can. You're totally in here now. <laughs> so yeah. The thing I love about the blimp too is when it when it comes down, it just entirely levels the map, and that totally changed the landscape for. Uh, I believe it was B and D in terms of the points. So. Definitely. Yeah. Thank you guys so much. Uh, it was it was great getting to play with you today. Duncan was talking about the behemoth there and how it crashed and uh, kind of deformed the playing field. We brought that up. Uh, it is definitely definitely one of the cooler mechanics. Yeah, it definitely is. It, uh, hundred percent, guys. Check out this game. It's awesome. It's fun. Um, you know, not only is it a joy to be able to, to to commentate it and have hosted it, but you know, now that it's finally out there, people really get to experience why this game has been so hyped up. It, it's it's so entertaining, and and I hope you guys enjoy it when you play it. 
Yeah, definitely. Thank you so much for joining us. This was IGN's Global Battle brought to you by Battlefield One. Uh, it was really fun getting to hang out with you guys today. Uh, thank you so much for coming and joining us at IGN. Always a pleasure. Always a pleasure. This was uh, my first job in the gaming industry was right here at IGN. Yeah. So it's uh, kind of cool to come back and do some more stuff here. Awesome. Well, thanks for joining us. And thank you for joining us. And for more on Battlefield One, you can stay right here with us at IGN.